question. Um, I grew up in Pennsylvania, which is not far from New York, just about two hours away. And I like to tell people that in high school, I took a consumer education class where we learned about things like balancing a checkbook from the same gentleman who also taught driver's education. So uh, two very important life skills from the same man who was kind of creepy, but I learned a lot from him. Um, so with that, uh, I want to kick off the session today, which is, um, I'm sure it has a very proper title, but uh, the role of media and communication in disseminating the messages of the movement. But really what we want to do is talk about how, how do we make the topic at hand, child finance, um, sexy to the media, and how do we communicate it to other people? And it's a challenge, and, um, and we have a, a whole lineup of fantastic people here today to talk about that. But I know just in my world, I can tell you, it's hard for me to, to get my editors interested because it's just, it's what we call evergreen topic. It's something that just you're dealing with it all the time, but there's not a lot new to say. And that's that's the challenge for us. And it's to find the stories from all the organizations that you're involved with and the work that you're doing and, and to kind of lift that up. How do we lift that up? So we're gonna kick off the panel. Um, our first speaker is gonna be Anita Stewart, who is from Sesame Street, um, Sesame Workshop. She's the Senior Vice President of Strategic Partnerships and Development. And um, I had the pleasure of hanging out with her last night, uh, only to find out that she collects Starbucks mugs for her son. So, um, Anita, you want to come on up and talk? And I think, it, are we going straight to a video, or what are we doing? Right now? Okay. No, don't come up. I think everybody can just go over because otherwise you're just going to sit here and look. And you don't have to stand on the stage. I just did because I'm short. In a very tall country. Great. Thank you for, for having me here. And I know I only have five minutes, so we have a lot to, to do and say. Um, what I'll do first is give you an overview of um, who Sesame Workshop is. A lot of you know Sesame Street. What you don't know is that we're a not-for-profit, um, that we are in 150 countries. And in 30 of those countries, we have what we call co-productions, where we actually produce in-country. So like India, Gali Gali Simpson, uh, in Holland, Sesame Street, um, in uh, Mexico, Plaza Sesamo, in Brazil, Vila Sesamo. So they are all very specific programs. Um, and what we do is use media to teach children. And we started with television, but now I'll show you some of the things that we're doing across the board, from podcasts to um, to um, online, etc. So you want to do first? No, there was okay. That's fine. Let's do the one before that. So what I want to talk to you about is a program that we did in the United States with a bank called PNC Bank. Um, and what we did was uh, formed a coalition, a partnership. So it's PNC Bank, which is the fifth largest bank in the, in the United States. Um, they worked with Montclair State University, as well as 50 community partners, including Head Start, which is kind of the preschool program, um, YMCA's, uh, public libraries, um, and also we, as, as P also PNC did, participated on the President's Advisory Council on Financial Capability. And that is how we got here because Juru was at that event and she said, you must come, you must come and present. So that's um, What we do across the board, whether it's a program in the, in the United States or a program um, in, in Bangladesh, we really look at what are the needs, what are the key needs, so if it's literacy, we look at the whole child, which is the cognitive skills, the social emotional, as well as, as health. Um, and then in each country or for each program, we focus in on a certain area. So we have been working with PNC Bank for nine years. We've addressed literacy, we've addressed math is everywhere. And last year, about um, a year and a half ago, they said, why don't we look at financial literacy? It's very important. So we know in the United States that young adults display lower financial literacy than pre previous generations. They don't know the value of money, they don't know about savings, they don't know how to do their checking account. And what we know is that if you start early and you talk to children at a very early age, and our target is three to five year olds, as well as their parents, caregivers, that you really have kind of a full circle around these issues. And what we do is formative research. So we develop a clear curriculum on what are the things that children need to know in a specific area. So with early, with the um, Financial literacy. First thing is, you learn very young that you need to make choices. With those choices come values. 
And one of the things that, that we highlight in this program is the idea of saving, spending, and sharing, and sharing with others. Um, in addition, um, the way that we go about it is what we call everyday moments. So when you're shopping, when you're doing the laundry, whatever it is, it becomes part of your life. So parents are very, very busy, especially lower income parents, they're working two and three jobs, and they don't have the time to say, okay, I'm gonna take this out and we're going to do this. So it really is incorporated into their daily routine. Um, I'm gonna show you a video, it's one minute, and it's one part of the DVD that we have. Everything, um, and I'll talk about one of the other elements of the kit, but everything that we have is on sesamestreet.org, save, and also pncgrowupgreat.com. Um, and you can download the DVD, uh, it has all the materials on the kit, which I'll show with you. But I just want to show you this video. So this goes directly to the, to the children. Now I'm almost going to save every day. It's okay, what I say, what I say, yeah. Now I'm almost going to save. On Monday, I'm going to move up, leave the phone. Search will be clean like God. And now I'm did the job so well. He earned himself one dollar. Now I'm going to have two dollars, and he's got another. Two, you put two and nine together, and one. But um, if you go online, you'll see the whole DVD. We have um, a whole thing about uh, employment and what do you want to do when you grow up. And uh, it, it, it tells children that you certainly need to work in order to, to earn money. So um, we can go to the next one. So um, what the kit has and what you can download is the DVD, which is about um, a 20-minute DVD that has this and other things on it, a caregiver guide and a children's activity book, um, online components, we have a utility app um, where you can go on um, Achieve It with Sesame Street and you can get the app and it talks about the different things that you can achieve and it starts with choices, etc. Uh, we have audio, 10 audio podcasts, so when you're uh, in the store, etc., you can listen to these audio podcasts and children are learning right when they're deciding what they want to do. Um, community guide, um, what we did is we developed a whole uh, program for PNC has a lot of volunteers and they go into the preschools. And so we developed a whole training program for them. And there was a webinar. Um, what's very important, we tested this program for four weeks, um, 631 uh, families. Uh, half of them got the program, half of them didn't. Those who got the program, 91% of parents and educators observed a marked improvement in children's understanding of basic financial concepts, 77% of parents um, and 96% of educators report that they were more comfortable explaining the basics of financial education. We know, I, I, I assume this is around the world, but certainly in the United States, people hate to talk about money. They like money, but they hate to talk about it. And this gave uh, parents and teachers the, the, the vocabulary to be able to talk to, to a child in, in their own terms. And we find this all the time. They say, don't tell me tell me exactly what to say. And these programs have the exact words and programs. Um, the other thing that happened is, was a major increase in the parents' savings patterns, where they started saving for a rainy day because they learned from this program as well. Uh, what PNC did is then develop a product around it. 
um, S is for savings, where there's an educational area that we have assessed me. And then within their virtual product, they have a place where you can put, virtually put your money for saving, sharing, and spending. And so over time, you can see what's growing and how it works. Um, this is free, um, and um, they've gotten a, a very good response. In addition, what they did worked with us on really communicating not only the program, but some of the elements of the program and, and some of the learn to save, share, and spend, um, where to go to get the program, uh, saving for something special. Um, so it really communicated the actual content as well as building awareness for the program. And then in India, we did a program with HSBC um, who's called um, The Journey of the Coin, um, which had a, um, a, a, a little book, as well as uh, a number line coins, um, and then there was um, a little, it's not on here, but a, a little stand so that, that was a store, so children can learn in the classroom about how to use the money. So um, this was very successful as well. Um, it was distributed to 2,000 child care centers in uh, Delhi and uh, Bangalore, and uh, uh, across India. So that, those are the major programs that we've done, and I think that's it.